Variables are a very important concept in any programming language. A variable is a way to store data in a program. Think of it like a container that can hold different types of data. Variables can be changed or be reassigned throughout the course of a program. Let's take a look at how it works. We can use the let keyword to declare a variable by saying let message and let's set it to hello world and let's end the statement with a semicolon. In this example, message is the name of the variable and we give it a value using the assignment operator of equal sign and define the value hello world. Let's console log the message variable and you'll see hello world is logged to the console because that is the value that this variable now holds. You can change the value of this variable later in your program by reassigning it like this. We can say message equals just hello this time. Let's console log this and let's see what we get. When we first declared message, we gave it an initial value of hello world. And when we console logged it, that was the value of that variable. And that's what it logged out. However, later in the program, we reassigned the value of message to a new string called hello. And when we console log that, we get a new value this time. This is called reassignment and is only possible with variables. Let me show you another way of declaring values using constants. A constant is a value that cannot be changed or reassigned once it has been set. It's like a variable, but you cannot do what we just did here. You can declare a constant using the const keyword, just like variables. So let's say const my age, and let me set that to 19. If we console log my age, we'll get 19 in the console. However, if we try to reassign its value, let's say my age equals 21. Let's save that. And as you guys can see, we get an error that says assignment to constant variable. And that pretty much means we're trying to reassign the value of a constant, which is not possible. There's also another keyword called var that can be used to declare variables. And you can even reassign the values just like the let keyword. If we change the let keyword for our message variable to var, you'll notice the program still works. Actually, let me just remove this. You'll notice the program still works just like the let keyword. It went ahead and initialized a variable and it even changed the value later on. However, it's generally recommended to use let or const instead of var because let and const provide better control over the scope and life cycle of variables in your program. I know we haven't covered scopes yet, but just remember that the var keyword has some quirks and inconsistencies that can lead to unexpected behavior in your code.